I'm here in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress with Chris Rice, who is the CEO at STL Access Solutions. So how have companies sort of a changed, had to change their approach to networks and the way that they manage them in a 5G and cloud era? Well, you know, I think, uh, you know, 5G is really the first G, if you will, that was born in the cloud. Right, if you think about when 4G came out, there was no cloud, there was no virtualization infrastructure, no containerization infrastructure. And you know, everyone's looking and say, hey, you know, we used to build it this way, should we build it a different way? And a lot of people here in these booths are saying, yeah, you should build it a different way, right? So I think that's a fundamental change. So the ability to scale in, scale out, softwareization, virtualization, containerization, those are all things that you know, were kind of born in the data center, but now are really affecting how people build mobile networks. Yeah, and how does Open RAN fit into that, that conversation and why does it matter? Why does it matter? <laughs> why yeah, does it matter? A, yeah. Well, I, you know, I think what you know, has classically happened, and it just happened by the way the industry grew up, is that there have been three or four big major vendors that build to standards, but they really only work within themselves. Sure. Uh, uh, probably not intentionally, but that's just the way it happened. But that can cause like operational expense or OPEX issues for carriers because, hey, let's say I want to go now add you know, a third party who's going to help me do self-organizing networks. I want to go at a third party who's going to help me do energy savings. Well, I typically have to get all of those folks, whoever I'm using as infrastructure, involved in all that. And I really shouldn't if it was based on open infrastructure, like computers are. Yeah. I don't really have to go get Intel involved every time I put on an Oracle database, right? Point, yeah. So that's really what you want to get to. You want to get to something that's like that kind of open infrastructure. And ORAN's trying to do that. They're defining interfaces. They're defining architectures. They're working on all those things to help that you know, manifest itself for operators and lower their overall CapEx and OpEx. Yeah, and how, how do these developments or transformations impact, what does it mean for STL? Well, what it means is, is that we can now be a part of an ecosystem that was exclusively like a certain club so before. A big deal. Right, so it was a big deal, right? I mean, the fact is, you know, in the booth here, we have uh, radios, and we are going to be a scaled ORAN radio supplier. We have a RAN intelligent controller, which is kind of like the brains, if you will, for ORAN and 5G. And you know it makes it, it makes us uh, it gives us an ability rather to participate in a market we wouldn't be able to normally, and so yes, it's a big deal. Yeah, and talking about participating in the market, I know that uh, SEL has recently partnered with Meta Connectivity. Yeah. Also, kind of a big topic Previously right Facebook, now. Previously Facebook, yeah. Previously <laughs> Facebook. Uh, still got to say it. Yeah. Uh, with their the Evanstar program. Evanstar. Yeah, Evanstar yeah. program. Yeah. So, can, what can you brief me on that a bit? Yeah, sure. I mean, you know what what the Facebook folks are doing or Meta folks are doing now, Meta Connectivity is you know they've always been you know kind of helping create more open networks and lowering the cost of networks and you know I think they do that for a couple reasons. One is their original kind of. Uh, mantra or goal was to connect the unconnected and you know kind of grow the opportunities there. Uh, and then now I think they're kind of like with this metaverse, keeping that as a, uh, you know, a mantra, but they're also saying, hey, look, we also want to make sure that the, the kind of developed parts of the world are capable of this immersive experience. And so what they're doing is going and jump-starting ecosystems to make that happen, right? Yeah, yeah it's very cool. Well, Chris, yeah. thank you so much for oh, your time. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Take Great. care. Yeah.